this is what my butt gets for going through muddy puddles because Jeep life. Oh my god, why does it look like somebody spilled chocolate milk all over my <laughs> my baby? I'm in my room. I just got this package in from Amazon from La Voice. You guys know I'm a huge fan of them. Shout out to them for collaborating with me on this portion of today's vlog. They have the best air purifiers i left mine in la so of course i had to get a new one for my room here and i want to unbox this with you guys and set it up in my room i've been dying to set this up because i have the worst allergies just from like the pollen in the air it's so crazy on the east coast here i've never experienced the pollen in california i don't even think we have pollen out there so my allergies have been going crazy also i live with three dogs now and two of them shed so the dander in the air is a little bit triggering for my allergies and stuff so i wanted to set this up today and i got a different model so i'm really excited to see if there's a difference this is how it comes shipped by the way Oh my god yes the quality of my air is important to me you guys if i don't feel good i'm probably not gonna look good so this is what it looks like in the box it's really not that big it's very compact which i knew that i wanted a small one for this room it's for my bedroom literally so this one is the I'm trying to find the model of it three stage filtration yes Oh, here we go. The Lavoie Core 400S Air Purifier. This is what it is. So I'm going to link this down below for you guys. If you are interested to pick one up for yourselves. If you have pets, dander, dust. Oh my god, the dust. I don't need directions. I'm a pro at having these. Ooh, this one is a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit bigger than the one that I have in LA. So it's ideal for bigger spaces. If you have like a single um, like studio apartment, this will be great. If you're cooking foods and the smells are just in the air, this is great as well. And there's so many fun features about this. Not only is it an air purifier, but if you are like me and you like the sound of like white noise when you sleep, like a fan going off, this will give you that effect. It also has a nightlight feature, a timer feature on here, and different speed settings, and it's not loud. I know that from experience, like even if it's on the highest setting, it's not really that loud that you hear it going off in the background. So I'm going to plug this up. So it should already have the filter in the bottom. You just have to untwist this and it is wrapped and these you can replace every few months and buy them on Amazon and this is where all the yucky stuff the dust the dander gets collected and it's disgusting when you replace them I have seen tremendous amount of build up that i didn't even know that was in my air and you're breathing it in all the time so if you're sniffling and stuff it's probably because your air is congested and you need to kind of clean it out so get one of these it's so easy you literally just put it in here and then <laughs> screw the bottom on boom and it clicks so that's how you set that up it's really not rocket science plug it into an outlet and we're going to turn it on do you hear how quiet? So this is the first speed. This is the second speed. That's the third speed. And that is the highest speed. I always just keep mine on the lowest. This is the sleep mode button. We have the speed levels here. This is the display off button. So if you don't want to see any of those LED lights, you don't have to look at them all night while you're trying to sleep. This is the display lock button if you want to keep the controls as they are. 
power button, timer button, so you can set how many hours you want this little guy to run for. This is gonna indicate the filter and if you need to change it or not. I've actually been using the brand different models for a few years now, so I can tell you that I absolutely love the machines and the quality of them and how compact they are and how well they work just in my living space. I had a studio apartment before this. I had a smaller version and it definitely did the trick. So I'll drop the link in the description box below so you guys can check them out and any coupons and stuff that I might have for you dolls to save on your order. And then let me know how you guys like them um, in the comments down below if you pick them up. Good morning. Look who actually got her life together me i have had a very productive workflow i'm taking a break just because i need to run some errands and honestly i need coffee i'm starting to get one of those like caffeine headaches where you don't have caffeine and your body's like girl what are you doing i don't know so i'm gonna go to target i just finished filming a bikini try on and girl, I didn't eat anything because I want to look snatched. And I'm hungry, so I might get myself some pumpkin bread while I'm over there. But I have a full content day. Today I'm actually planning out my week. And I scheduled out a couple of appointments for the end of this week. And I do need to make another appointment for like my nails this week but I don't know if I should schedule that on the same day as another appointment I just don't know how long it's gonna take and I don't want to be rushing around stressed so I need to get that together um, but yeah I'm just planning out content today is a filming day for me which is perfect because I don't like to do my makeup every day I like to do it once every month <laughs> film what I need to film and then post the videos throughout not really a month but like a week I also took some Instagrams I was really feeling myself today so I might pop one of those out on the gram in a bikini girl my body out of ya I'm just saying the gym is coming through for your girl and I've never been one I'm gonna be 100% with you guys I've never been one to feel fully comfortable in a bikini but for some reason as soon as I tried these on from Target let me tell you Target <laughs> balling on a budget I felt like a snack so definitely check out that video <clears throat> sorry check out that video when it goes live because Target isn't playing no games Target said I'm about to pull up and everybody's about to be a hot girl like <sighs> I can't like my body ya uh, what Photoshop look at those gains bro I am so proud of my discipline I'm gonna silence <laughs> the results are finally coming and it's been two freaking years okay well maybe not a year in quarantine when we start quarantine March April, May, June, a year and three months of hard work. There's something about being in isolation where you just get your life together. You have no choice. Wow. So I'm gonna pick one of my favorites. I really took those for the thumbnail, but I was like, hold up now. I could honestly post one of these to the gram. Oh my God. <laughs> J. Cole, can we just give it up to J. Cole? First of all, he is now a pro basketball player in Africa. So he's just been on the come up and nobody even knew about it, it he, he's the type of artist and Bev and I were just talking about this in New York like he's like Kendrick Lamar they don't need to be in drama they don't need to be rapping about big booty this chains all this money all that like they don't do that stuff they talk about real stuff that's why their music is so good they don't need to promote they can just kind of drop it out and just shake up the whole world like J. Cole is very I would say slept on but not really because every time he drops a song it's on the radio it's amazing and I've been listening to his album non-stop and I'm still not sick of it I'm not planning on getting sick of it so if you guys want some good music to vibe out to you know smoke some gas to journal to clean your house cook your dinner just put him on shuffle literally all of his songs on shuffle and it is such a vibe that was me this morning <laughs> That's why I felt so good about doing my makeup. I was just like vibing out to J. Cole, you guys. So his new album is so good. I'm gonna actually play it. 
and listen to it like it's the first time that I've ever heard it. <laughs> I do that all the time. Oh, I love the off season. Okay. I feel like I was at Target for way longer than I should have been. I was looking at the um, Fired by the swimwear again just to see if they had restocked since last night. <laughs> they did not, but I got another set. Already filmed that video, so go check it out if you wanna see the try on. I fell in love with, well, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the black bikini. This is the same one in pink. I wouldn't be Kayla if I didn't get something pink. Um, so instead of getting like matching bottoms, I figured go for something different. And these are the same as the black bottoms. I just don't know if you're gonna get camel toe in these. Cause when I tried them on, I had undies on and the hygiene strip. So, and they're black. So you can't really tell. I don't know, but I love this cut you guys. It is the most flattering for the peach and it's super adjustable. You can hike them up and they have them in like a bunch of colors. So I'll link them down below for you guys. My favorite, there's like an olive green color. They had the top in white. I couldn't find a bottom for it. White with the tan would have been so pretty. So I didn't have pumpkin bread. I'm so sad. It's probably okay because my spirit guides were like, girl, you don't need it. And I ordered a venti. They said, ma'am, we are out of venti cups. I was like, Lord, I'm doing too much. I'm gonna give you guys the rest of my Target haul. While this lady is sitting in front of me in her car, I need to do something with my nails in the meantime of going to go get them done because I had ripped off my acrylics uh, myself. So they need to be buffed. And now they're just splitting up the yin yang. So I'm gonna use this when I get home because my nails are not it right now. And I just, I don't know when I'm gonna go get my nails done this week. Again, I have appointments scheduled, but I don't wanna be too booked and too busy. <laughs> I don't know, like I'm just tired. I don't like to go to a bunch of appointments in one day. So anyway, I got some files because the splitting isn't it. Ooh, I got a new, okay, hair product makes me so excited. I wish I could be one of those girls that was like a product junkie, but for one, I am way too lazy for that. I barely like to put things in my hair after the shower, and I'm the type of person that likes to wash my hair every day, at least with a co-wash, because I like my scalp to be refreshed. I don't like to have sweat sitting there from the gym. I don't like to be like you know you're in the gym your head's resting against the equipment and other people sweat and then the thought of laying down on my own pillow disgusting so i like to shower my hair and rinse my scalp so bacteria and stuff doesn't build up um but i go through conditioner so fast as a curly girl does and this one smelled so good it's by garnier fritis and i just rotate them you guys i'm not really too picky about oh high end is all i have to use no like i go through this so fast it's going down the drain so why am i gonna spend top dollar for something that's literally being washed away <laughs> but this is their pure clean fortifying conditioner with aloe it's silicone and paraben free and a vegan formula and i got the big one today oh it smells like summertime i didn't get the shampoo because y'all shampoo takes me forever to go through so i'm gonna be mixing and matching that and then I had to hit up Miss Jessie's. Y'all know I love Miss Jessie's. I had this in the past. I haven't been using a leave-in, which is so bad, which is probably why my curls are dry. I just leave a little bit of my conditioner in the shower and then that's my leave-in. <laughs> Look, products are expensive. So anyway, I decided to go back to the leave-in condition, also from Miss Jessie's. Love this stuff. It's very thick and rich and has a lot of slip to it. So if you need help detangling, this is amazing. And I like their products because it's very straightforward. It literally tells you what it's good for, like your hair type, the products that are in it, like the ingredients, and what's not in it. This is not sponsored, but it should be. But this is... A leave-in conditioner, coating and protecting for the curls, styling preparation, major moisturizing, super softening, and amazing detangler. I can agree to all of that. And it's... Um... What? The fuck? I know this doesn't say it has love, love, love in it. 
<laughs> it's the cheesiness for me. Anyway, this is really good. So I gotta get my curls popping. I'm trying to grow them out and moisture is key here, you guys. Speaking of moisture, this hot pink bubblegum packaging sold me on it. And I've never seen this before, so I don't know if it's new or if Target is just now carrying it because they have so many more products than what Target sells. So this is their super sweet back treatment. And I'm excited. I kind of want to try this out the next wash day for me. I do like to do a mask twice a week because I'm in the shower all the time and moisture, my porosity loves it. So everyone's different, but this one smells like bubble gum. <gasps> no, so I was reading this. I am so annoying. I just love hair product. Um, it says to wash, condition, leave in for 30 minutes like a mask and then rinse it out. So this one is for deep penetration, <laughs> max, <laughs> maximum moisture, incredible hair growth. Okay, that's what I'm here for. Strong strands, major detangling, intense conditioning, curls, coils, transitioning, chemically treated textures. All of that is me. So I want to try this out and see if I notice a difference by the end of the product, like whenever I finish it, but it has no sulfates, no animal testing, no mineral oil, no animal ingredients, no paraffins and no petroleum so increases hair growth look it says it on there so many times i'm all about that so i'm really excited to try this out is that everything oh eco styler i usually get the black castor oil one with the black lid and someone one of you guys was telling me in a curly video that you like this one with the argan oil so since i'm almost out of that one and I've already purchased it twice. I want to try this one. And I was comparing them and they said that they do the same thing. So I know black castor oil or castor oil is for hair growth, which is why I bought it. And it makes my hair so soft and not crunchy. This doesn't have any hold to it, by the way. So if you're going to slick back your hair, this isn't really going to do that. I think it's more for defining for me at least. But it says that it helps to repair, condition, define, moisturize, smooth, and shine. So I'm really excited to try this out. Um, and I usually would just get the biggest tub, but this was the biggest one. So let me know which one is your favorite. They have an olive oil one, but I don't really, I don't really care for olive oil in my hair product. So that's my target run. My unnecessary target run. Oh my God. I was meant to get, see, whitening strips. I forgot. I'm trying to whiten my teeth, y'all. Chug's coffee. I parked my car in the um, driveway because I'm about to get a workout in and I don't want the neighbors to look at me. So I also want to work out with sliding with the garage door open so I don't feel like I'm in a dungeon. But I need to finish planning out the rest of my day because I need to get a few more clips for my becoming a hot girl on a budget video which I'm shooting today. I'm gonna do my nails actually in the meantime. And I need to go get my planner because I have some appointments I need to write in there for this week. So, we're having a pretty productive day. I love that my mom goes to work at her hours and then I just have the whole place to myself and I really don't see her but it was so cute last night we were like in her room in bed watching um I forget her YouTube her name's like Niasia she's like a real estate broker in New York so we were watching all of these like tiny studio apartment tours in New York City like I'm talking 70 square foot my mom and I were shook so we just basically watched every video on her channel and, and it was just great bonding time okay she was like i could never live there some of these places didn't even have a bathroom y'all or a kitchen like the bathroom was in the hallway and you had to share it with the other people on the floor girl i could never i'm like who's gonna clean the bathroom like what if you have to go in the middle of the night you have to run out in the hallway in your pajamas or what if you have to get ready for work early in the morning and your schedule is just on a line like how does that work that sounds like drama to me <laughs> I don't know, but it was just very fascinating to see um, different spaces, like tiny homes. Crying! Why is Kendrick and J. Cole just so iconic together? 
All right. American Dream. Please go listen to that song. That was the banger pulling up. You know like when you have like your song and you get home but the song isn't over. So you just sit in the car or you start it over and you just, ugh, oh, me. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my planning for the rest of the day. I just need to make a list because my mind right now, as you can probably tell, is all over the freaking place. Should have had my watch on earlier, counting my steps. Um, I can't find my other markers and stuff. I guess they're in LA somewhere, I don't know. But I have the same planner. If you guys have been here for a very long time, I love this. It's such a great investment. All you have to do is just repurchase yearly inserts on Etsy. So affordable. So, I mean, the case itself, like the agenda itself, I use this thing all the time. Doesn't look like it's been worn too much. Let me get a thumbnail. Okay, um, <laughs> it's just really amazing. So I like to invest in quality things instead of buying a agenda from Target every year. Like those things don't really hold up. This is just really nice, especially if you're grown these days. So I have something scheduled in my iCal, which I like for appointments and stuff because it gives me a physical, like an alert based on traffic and I like to set two reminders one the night before I have to be somewhere so I don't forget what I have to do the next day and then another alert two hours prior so that I'm up I'm ready and I can plan ahead with traffic to get to my destination so Thursday this week I don't want to give like too much out I do like to pop these out to write and yes, I have an additional pad here. These are fantastic for daily to-dos. If you're like me and you just need something quick, um, that's not too permanent. Uh, but also I like to write on top of it. It gives me a smoother, and I don't have the best handwriting, so I don't want to embarrass myself too much by showing you that. So I have a Hydra facial on Thursday. So that's why I wanted to have like full-blown content day today so I could basically do everything else appointment wise towards the end of this week so I need to make sure that I leave because that's actually in Fairfax kind of far from here and that's around traffic time I think so hydrofacial I'm so excited my skin is so clogged and 1 p.m. The last time I had one, Beverly actually did it for me. They used to do them at Sephora, but now at these times they don't do facials in store. But it was such a good deal because if you spent like $70 in store, which most of us do on two products, you can get a free facial. So I hope they bring those back because it's such a good like cleansing. Like it sucks everything like a vacuum out of your pores. And mine are so clogged. It's disgusting. You can literally see them in like my t-zone area um but it plumps your skin and it's very hydrated and the last facial peel that i got i just was not having it and i feel like it left me with redness here like it just never went away so not really a fan so i was like i need to just get something that's moisturizing that's gonna kind of decongest my skin so i found that on groupon which was a look i'm obsessed with groupon these days so highly recommend you go there obviously check the reviews there's some really good things up for like beauty services if you're trying to ball in a budget and then also i have another appointment on saturday for laser hair removal and that's at 9 45 in the morning oh my god so that shouldn't be too long but it is kind of far from me ironically enough it's at the same place that i got my facial at <laughs> Um, so that's at 9.45. And then at some point this week, I need to get my nails done. So I don't know if I want to do that tomorrow. I guess it just depends on how much work I get done today. There's no way I could go today because it's kind of far. And honestly, I should make an appointment. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Okay, so 2.15. That's okay. I can go to the gym in the morning. <laughs> yes, sir. They are so sweet. What time is it? Oh my god, it's 11.30. 
I have to film my workout for my video today and I'm debating should I do it in the garage or should I go to the gym the thing about the gym is there might be other people in the studio room and I get self-conscious so it might be better and easier for me to just do it in the garage so I need to shoot um, workout I need to shoot a clip of me doing my <laughs> this is so funny teeth whitening <laughs> Um, for the video and then I also oh shoot I need to do a separate thing for personal to do's I need to freaking meal prep because I have this chicken in the fridge that probably is old and if I don't cook it today child I'm not gonna have food to eat for these booty games <laughs> so I need to meal prep for myself and then um, there was something else I needed to do Mm, I need to shoot a sponsored clip for a brand. I guess we can have a longer work day. I just don't want to start working out and then messing up my glam. So let me go ahead and jot down. I don't want to tell you the videos because I don't know when this is going live. But I know that I really wanted to fit their quick videos. Um, one of them is a bikini like how to tie a triangle bikini top for small chested girls like myself okay let me put y'all on <laughs> so i wanted to film that um which that won't take me too long and then also i wanted to film a stretch mark video i got someone literally one person said they would be interested in my stretch mark routine um and i wanted to kind of touch on the products and like the process and what stretch marks are and how you get them, all that stuff, literally. I already planned it out. I was on the treadmill. Let me show you guys how organized I am. I literally have a million notes. Um, I already typed out, so organized, the video title and then all of the talking points that I wanted to touch on with stretch marks and then the products that I use and literally the definition of a stretch mark like i literally write these things down and that's how i kind of prep and plan for my videos so i'm not sitting there trying to film and thinking like um um what 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 am i talking about like no i i know what i'm talking about <laughs> i feel good knowing what i have to do versus not knowing what to do i feel like i haven't really posted that many videos this month and it's because i went on vacation for a week so i can't be too hard on myself for missing out on that um but also being back from vacay, I'm still mentally in New York. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> so I needed to get myself organized again and get back on track to the workflow and getting creative again and excited to film and do videos that I want to do that are helpful content, like the how to's and gosh, my nail is so split. I'm going to touch up my makeup because I had a mask on earlier and I want to have like a cute little glow going on <sighs> but I swapped out my battery so that would charge and then got my stuff out I'm gonna do the bikini video first I'm excited about that one we love a how-to slash DIY I miss doing those types of videos um Obviously, I love doing vlogs the most because I just like living my life and being vulnerable and like sharing day-to-day -day things with you guys. But also, I like having helpful how-to searchable content in the mix. Like my Makaru video is blowing up. <laughs> I don't know so many, like I almost, it's always the videos that I almost never want to film that do the best. Like my saltwater flush i was like ah should i document this i don't know one almost hitting a million views the maca video i think is almost at 50k i could be wrong but a lot of people are in the comments every day of that video it's just so funny how those videos do so well i guess because people are like me and they're curious and they want to see a real person's experience which makes a lot of sense so I'm happy to do it if it helps someone understand something, you know what I'm saying? 
I always have to add a little more makeup than normal just because my camera will wash me out. So if I look crazy, <laughs> I probably do. <laughs> I probably do. Just a quick touch up. Jeep hair and my windows down today. It's okay. I have finished filming what I need to film. It is 101. I'm about to go do my workout and film that before my mom comes so I can move my car. <sighs> I have yet to eat. I'm just looking forward to eating, but I can't eat before I work out because that is not gonna work for me. And I'm looking forward to taking off my makeup tonight but i have had such a good workflow i'm about to check off some of the things on my to-do list that i did i'm gonna actually edit two of the videos that i filmed today and upload them to my youtube so teeth whitening check shoot my sponsor check um film the bikini video check film the stretch mark video check Third video, yes, I'm rewarding myself with some food. This is that chocolate sunflower seed butter. I need to commit to the full jar and freaking buy it because I get it in packs that are already pre-measured out. I've got a protein bagel and then banana, which I needed to eat up before it got old. But how yummy does this look, you guys? Definitely want something sweet. And I'll make my dinner later. <laughs> Why are you guys only come around when I have the food? Hmm. Thank you.